What's going on guys? We gotta talk about the housing market because so far we are seeing a trend. People buying things that they cannot afford. I know it's not something new, okay? We've been seeing people buy very expensive things for a very long time and then at the very end of the day, they just can't pay for it. Okay, unemployment is already taken up 3.4 to 3.6. Powell even said that we need like a 4% unemployment to get inflation down and who knows? Might even go up to 5.5 or 6.5. And that's not really that good, especially we've been seeing a lot of layoffs lately. So what does this mean? If you look at the foreclosure rates, it's on the rise. Now, this is obviously bad, but at the same time, if you're on the market for a home, you might as well look at the foreclosure areas as well. So there's reports, foreclosure filings were reported, 324,000 properties in the US in 2022. Now in 2021, there was not that many properties being foreclosed because interest rates were super low. 2022 was when they started hiking the rates like crazy. And that's what happened. There were actually people who didn't get a fixed mortgage at all. And there's also people who took out, you know, loans, they refinanced their homes. And as this tick up, you know, some people lost their jobs. Of course, foreclosures go up. Okay, this is very, very scary when you have a 115% increase compared to the year before in floor closures, guys. It's a double in the amount of people where their homes got confiscated by the bank because they can't pay back their mortgage. Now, if you look at this, it doesn't help at all either. Mortgage rates raise up for the fifth consecutive week. Now, at one point, mortgage rates were going down, especially in December of 2022 and January of 2023. But now mortgage rates are slowly going back up with a 30 year mortgage well above 7%. And this is very important here. And as you can see, mortgage rates are going up. And guess what? People are still buying homes. Pending home sales are up in the second straight month. Okay, it's up 8.1% in January. I heard February was pretty good as well. A lot of these contracts are going up. Now, partly the reason why is you're seeing a lot of fire sales and a lot of suburban areas. A lot of these developers broke ground in 2020 and 2021 with a lot of delays, and now they finally could sell their properties to the common people. But of course, with higher inflation, higher interest rates, they have to offload those homes at a very fast pace, kind of like a mini fire sale. That's something we've seen in Texas and Nevada some of these big suburban areas, you know, a lot of this massive, you know, these huge townhome complexes, these suburban areas, developers are selling them at really, really fast rates because inflation and also the interest rate hikes really hurt. They, the longer they hold on to the home, the more money they get paid to the bank and none of these developers want to do this. So because some of the homes are down in price, some places even double digits, a lot of Americans are like, you know what? We're gonna buy a home. And despite interest rates being so high, they don't care. They just buy in. And this is gonna, what's gonna happen here is 2023's foreclosure rates are probably gonna be even higher than 2022. And 2022 was already a 115% increase compared to 2021. So this is not really that good, okay? And the feds may have just really, really gave the housing market a big punch. But at the same time, a lot of people who see the rates increase, they don't care. They see a good deal, they'll take it, and they'll think, oh, we'll just pay this back later. We'll find a way to pay the mortgage. But in reality, it's very, very expensive. And with an even possible recession, that is not great. So if you're looking for a home, I highly suggest, yes, deals are pretty good across the board, but please don't just do a 20% down payment. Do like a 40, 45, 50% down payment, and plus, you don't really want to be the one paying like a 7% 30-year fix, okay? Might as well go for the cheaper home that you have more cash for the down payment than something like a very expensive home where you only have like 20% down payment. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.